Hello all, this video is on Modbus Horus 485 where dbin is used as slave and in this new version no 22.bin settings required, only OS file download. Here we have 800 by 480 5 inch industrial grade display with casing and for power source it requires 12 volt 2 ampere at V and G pins. At the bottom you can see A and B pins where we have to implement RS 485 Modbus. And for conversion, we require a USB to RS-485 uh, device like this. When you connect this device to uh, PC, you get a COM port. And through this COM port, we'll do the uh, Modbus communication. For downloading the project files, we'll be using the SD card method. And uh, before starting the project, let us collect the background images and store it under 32 folder all this uh, background images are 800 by 480 resolution and under 42 folder we have some icons uh, this may be jpg or uh, png icons most important is the os file go visit the official website go to download section and visit the modbus section and download the modbus slave as we are going to use dvn as slave download the modbus slave and unzip the folder you have some more zip files select the one required by you we'll be using 11500 pod and uart5 as rs485 is implemented in uart5 in the 5 inch display we are using in this video select this folder unzip it you have uh, some bin file and asm file select the dot bin file this is 115200 baud and you are file so copy this bin file and paste it under dbin underscore set folder of your project already we have stored dot hk file which is for uh, font and uh, this project has got uh, three pages first page is for uh, read commands from master second for write commands from master and the third one we have a keyboard where we have implemented touch using basic touch and uh, for uh, uh, the digits we have uh, uh, we are feeding the hex key values as shown in the uh, project uh, screen we have to provide the proper hex key values for example for uh, digit 1 we have to provide 0031 digit 20032 so all these hex values are provided in the screen itself for master simulator software, we'll be using QMod Master, yeah, an open source simulator software. In this, uh, if you check up the function codes, we have four read commands and uh, four write commands. Read uh, coil, read discrete inputs, read holding registers, read input registers. Out of this, we'll be testing read holding registers 0x03 and read input registers 0x04 other two commands cannot be tested from this uh, simulator only from a physical plc we can test same way for the write commands from master we'll be testing 0x06 for single register and 0x10 command for multiple register for writing coils single coil and multiple coils not possible from this simulator software only from plc we can test now let us see the project settings in the first page there is page 0 we use bit icon as well as uh, incremental adjustment over that so that uh, uh, from uh, reading uh, read commands from master will change the icons on this so we will be using the same vp for both of this there is bit icon and incremental adjustment 1100 and for bit setting we will be setting the uh, lsb 0 enabled and for icon uh, selection we will be using the 42.icl that uh, created previously using icl tool and uh, icon 0s is selected for the first icon and icon 1s for the second icon that is uh, uh, according to 1 and 0 the icons will change according to the commands from the master the icons will change same way the next uh, for uh, next one we'll be using the data variable for this we'll be using vp1200 and for data input 
from touch we will be using this data input for pop up keyboard so on touching this uh, uh, area a keyboard will pop up and you can feed in the data using the keyboard enabling the keyboard and uh, the keyboard location is uh, clearly explained in one of our previous videos you can check up our previous videos on how to set the keyboard location and you can select where the keyboard will pop up and then the feeding in values from the keyboard where it will appear everything you can configure using this uh, data input method that is from touch control you have to select the data input over the data variable and then configure the keyboard location and uh, uh, the keyboard feeding in values where it will appear everything you can set using this data input method and for a 0x04 input registers we have uh, three of this consecutive VPs 1300, 1301 and 1302 over this we have implemented the data input for popping up keyboard in the next page one we are uh, testing the write commands from master for 0x06 single register we use data variable and then uh, variable icon uh, the BP address are uh, 2000 and 2050 and for multiple 0x10 we have uh, consecutive BP addresses starting from 2100, 2100, 01 and 02. This is for testing multiple registers. Save the file and then click on generate to generate dot bin files. Copy the dbin underscore set folder to SD card and then load it onto the dbin hardware. Now uh, remove the SD card and then power up the display. You can see the project being downloaded onto the hardware. Now let us see the QMOD master setting. No installation is required. Just unzip the folder and then open the folder and uh, double click uh, QMOD master exe file to start the master software, simulator software. Uh, in the settings from options, you click on Modbus RTU and then you have to do the uh, communication settings that is a serial port you have to select we have used uh, rs485 to usb and com port is allotted here select that com port baud rate is 115200 as the os file we have used is 115200 and settings are 8 and 1 same way from option settings you have to select the response timeout some minimum seconds you want to give let us provide 5 seconds and base address is 0 this is very important and then Indian is big Indian the base address must be zero this is very important and then select OK and uh, the Modbus mode must be RTU and slave address is 1 as in the OS file we are using the slave as 1 so address should be 1 now click on connect and before that you have to select the function code let us select the function code as read holding registers 0x03 and then the start address is VP address that is uh, uh, the bit icon address we have used is 1100 and select the hex value so you can directly feed the 1100 as hex and number of registers is 1 as we are using bit icon only 1 and uh, data format is decimal click on connect now you will see only one uh, register and from the DWIN display touch on the icon to change so that from off to on now from uh, QMOD master commands click on read write to execute now touch on the bit icon to off and then from commands uh, read write to execute so by uh, changing the uh, bit icon on and off and then selecting uh, read write command you can see the variation in the QMOD master now the next VP address is 1200 1200 where we used data variable and then keyboard input so select the start address as 1200 VP and number of registers 1 now feed in the values uh, uh, to the data variable 222 command read write on QMOD master the value will reflect on the QMOD master change the value it will reflect in the QMOD master so this is data variable input uh, from uh, Devin slave that is read by the master now for multiple input registers command 0x04 let us select 
and then the VP address we have uh, used is starting VP address is 1300, three consecutive VP address. So start address feed in as 1300 and number of registers three as three consecutive registers you have to test. So feed in the values using the pop-up keyboard uh, in the three VP address locations and then uh, click on command read write to see the uh, to reflect the values in the cube mod master same way change the values in the uh, respective vp locations and click on read write to see the variation in the cube mod master so this is input register read input register next we'll see the write commands from master for testing 06 command single register we use data variable at uh, location VP 2000 and variable icon at VP 2050 this is for testing 0x06 single register uh, note that the right single coil and uh, right multiple coil are not possible from this simulator so select right single register which is 0x06 and then the start address that is a VP address 2000 for testing the data variable and the number of registers only one and feed in the value click on uh, read write so the uh, uh, data will go to the divin slave so the data is uh, data is written to the master written to the divin slave same way you can change the value and uh, it will reflect in the divin slave for testing the variable icon change the vp address to 2050 number of registers is one and uh, data format is decimal so as you are going to feed only zero or one now feed in one and from commands click on read write you can see the icon changes from off to on same way change the value from one to zero click on command read write so the icon will change back from on to off so this is 0x06 command single register for uh, testing multiple register we have used uh, three locations and VP starting is 2100, 2100, 2101 and 2102, three VP locations for data variables, multiple registers. So select the command as 0x10 uh, which is uh, write multiple registers and VP address start VP address is 2100, number of registers three as you are going to uh, send data to three VP locations number of registers is three now feed in the values in the QMON master this uh, this is for the location 2100 and next one is 2101 and next one is for 2102 now click on command read write to execute you can see the values being reflected in the Devin slave so from master the data uh, values are sent to the slave this is 0x10 for multiple values thank you for watching